day guys so as you see by the title of this video we're heading over to the mill that burned down I was invited by Andy he is the owner um, to come on over and check out the damage uh, kind of explain a little bit about what happened he does not want to be on camera but he has encouraged and invite me to come over and film so that's where we're heading now the building was a total loss probably gonna take at least a year maybe two to rebuild but uh, he wants to rebuild so let's go over here check out the damage and uh, see what happened No, I am not trespassing. Yes, the owner, Andy, has given me permission and invited me onto the property to come and look. As you can tell, it is a total loss. The fire started back in that corner. Andy says that one of the employees actually saw um, a small fire start. It possibly was a bearing. He grabbed a fire extinguisher and jumped right in there and tried to put the fire out. And he said that when he hit it with a fire extinguisher, the dust round that when you blow a fire extinguisher off it creates dust from the other stuff on the ground and it, the fire caught hold of it and it went up to the ceiling and he said it spread all the way across and they instantly uh, got out but we were just talking I mean you got charcoal here that's still not even burned you've got wood back over there check that out I'm not going to go in here very far. They don't know if it's structurally sound. They, the owners have been in here. He's been walking around looking. He said there's actually a fr uh, fridge back there with food still in it. Um, that's still fine, but the entire building is pretty much gone. Um, they opened up that side because there was a new compressor that they were trying to save from the fire. I don't know if they did or not. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a total loss in here. See the, some of the wood actually burned up on top. He says they are. Uh, he's hoping to rebuild here. He he does. He wants to rebuild. He also said that uh, there was an issue with water. That uh, the one of the reasons they can't have a sprinkler system here was there's not enough water pressure in the of East Kings River. I mean, in the county here, and uh, that's they they couldn't have one. And unfortunately, it sounds like possibly there was an issue with water as well. And if you watch the fire video, you might see some issues going on. But uh... isn't that the smallest, tiniest skidster you've ever seen in your life? It's like a little kid style one. It's, I like it. Pretty cool. Yeah, we're uh, we're rolling out of here. Um, I just spoke with Andy some more. He doesn't want to be on camera. He's a little camera shy. I understand. Andy. Uh... And his boys uh, watched my railroad videos. Thank you, Andy. That's very cool. Also, thank you for inviting me over to uh, let my viewers and let everybody else kind of see what happened over here and uh, explain the situation. He suspects it'll be at least a year to be to uh, to rebuild. But uh, yeah. He said this is their second their second plant. Their main plant is down uh, towards Green Bay. And uh, this is some of the stuff that uh, that they get into and they do. Um, they've got coasters. He just showed me a bunch of stuff. They got pretty cool coasters and they do a lot of uh, other stuff. They make barrels, boxes. Very cool. Check them out. And there you go, guys. Uh, again, Andy, thank you again for inviting me over. Um, yeah, I mean, it sucks not having the sprinkler system. And, uh, I mean, what can you do? I mean, what could you have done? I mean, Andy said that it literally, that when I got there and started filming, that was literally right after it started. He said that when the fire got going, it was like literally a minute or two and it was out of control 
Wow, I mean, it's terrible for the employees there, terrible for Andy, and terrible for his own family that now they've got to deal with this. But uh, he says he's going to rebuild, so I mean, you know, there is hope, so there's something to look forward to. Guys, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, make a comment below. Have a great day, happy Labor Day.